talk commitment and no excuses. Thinking outside the box. I just want to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? But you're going nowhere. Don't blame me for what you've done. What's going on? Yeah, this is uh, another Riddell's mic drop vlog. You know, I'm going to uh, give you guys an insight of my view, of my opinion of this world of business. And today we're going to talk about the box, right? The box. Thinking outside of this box. So, I come from Akron, Ohio, right? Akron, Ohio... Um, not poverty. My mom didn't do drugs, wasn't a prostitute, nothing like that. My mom just wasn't blessed to have different experiences to offer me. Um, cousins in the streets, dad not around. So I wasn't offered a lot of viewpoints on things, right? Um, so to think a certain kind of way, you have to be in certain environments around certain people. That's why they say, you are your circle. The circle you keep is the people that make you successful or unsuccessful. So with that being said, I um I had a client, right? I have a client who lived on Harbor Island in Tampa, Florida. And twice a week, maybe three times a week, he would go from Harbor Island to TPA airport or even sometimes MCO airport. And I will always have chauffeurs take him or whatever. And every now and then I would pick him up. But when I picked him up, he knew that I owned the company, right? So we would have conversations, different kind of kind of conversations. You cannot have an entrepreneurial conversation with the individual who has an employee mindset. You just can't do that. It won't work. So him and I will always connect and have a conversation. So one day I would say, hey, blank, I don't want to give his name. Hey blank man, what do you what do you do for a living, right? He said, um, well I've been waiting on you to ask me that. I said, well, why you ain't just tell me? Why would you, you know, wait till I ask? He said, I just want to see if you had nuts enough to see if our friendship was at that point where you could ask. Okay, so I'm asking, what do you do? So he says, um, do you know about Bic pins? Bic, B-I-C pins. I said, yeah, they got the little blue guy on it, right? He said, yeah. I said, yeah, I know about them. He said, uh, how much do you think those pins are worth? I say, I don't know. You get a pack of them from like Target or Walmart somewhere. You know, they're like a pennies on, they're like cheap. They're pennies. He says, uh, well, to you, they're pennies. To me, they're millions. I own the factory that makes big pins. And it blew my mind, right? Not because of what he do. It blew my mind because the thought and mindset. Who wakes up and says, I want to own a big pen factory or any factory of, of pens or, or any factory period? Where I come from, you don't think that big to own a factory of that kind of magnitude, right? So thinking outside the box is what he was taught or it fell in his lap. Where somebody presented the idea or sometimes entrepreneurs become entrepreneurial by accident so um, thinking outside the box can help you in so many different ways first make sure it's something you like to do because if you don't like to do it you won't be as ambitious to do it it's just the reality of it, it you'll start dreading it some entrepreneurs I know they do what we call buy a job you can get hired into a job at a bank or wherever, but when you own a business and the business starts to run you and you don't run it, you've just bought a job. That's all you did. You go to work every day, you're not happy, you're miserable, the employees, the customer service. So you have to make sure whatever you're doing, you love to do. Not like you love it to the point where you'll do it for free. You have to be in that position. If not, you're just spinning your wheels. Thinking outside the box is always the best thing to do. Not only with marketing, strategies, creativity, 
Um, and if it's something you don't do, like you're not creative, that's fine. Hire somebody. Always know your strength and your weaknesses. Know what you're capable of and what you're not capable of. And what you're not capable of, you just hire somebody. Hire doesn't also, also always mean pain. Sometimes you barter. Sometimes you swap. You can get a lot of things done with very little. It's up to you. I get people all the time to say, man, you know, I love what you're doing, man. You're doing this and you're doing that and you're going here. Man, I wish I could do what you did. But. As soon as they say but, I tune them out. Because you're already giving up. You're about to give me an excuse. I don't do excuses. You know how many L's I take per day that you guys never see? Well, yep, get ready to see them. You get ready to see them with these vlogs. I take L's every single day. Every single day of some magnitude, I take an L. I don't care if it's an overdraft fee. I don't care if it's a setback of a, a, a meeting being canceled. I don't care if it's I'm expecting somebody to pay for something and I've already allocated those funds and they call me and say I don't have them or I don't have all of it. Those are all L's. And L doesn't mean a loss. It's a lesson as well. So with that being said, man, you know, always think outside the box. You got to try to do it. Um, Google, you know, Google something that you're trying to look up. Marketing ideas or creative ways to build a business or build a, a brand or a building. Look up those kind of things and then add your touch. Think outside the box, man.